Sunday, folks. It's a very special day here in Hong Kong because our F45 Causeway Bay community decided to take a huge challenge. We wanted to see what we're made out of out of all of the training that we've been doing and whether it pays off. So some of us decided to take on a five kilometer obstacle course run that has 20 different challenges, which surely put our bodies to the test. If you're interested in seeing how that all went down, check out this video over here. But I know some of you guys want to specifically watch today's workout video. Here's a quick glimpse of how it went down in the last challenge. Hey guys, this is Mason from Self Made Athletes and on this channel, I like to do health and nutrition tips, supplement and health product reviews, as well as workout videos just like this one. So if you're looking to level up your health or your fitness regimen, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when the next video is being posted. All right, today's workout is gonna be resistance based and it's called Angry Burn. And we're gonna be using a super style combined with tempo and timing to help shock our body and push it to its strength limits. We will divide our workout into pods, which will help us focus on one area of the body, either upper body, lower body, or core. This will give us maximum amount of variety in today's workout. And we've got three different pods, each with five different exercises. We're gonna do one set of each exercise, but three laps around each pod with the timing variation through each lap. Lap number one will be slow movements and heavy weights with a working time of 40 seconds and 15 seconds of rest. Lap number two will be 35 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. And lap number three will be our fast and light round where we're only gonna be doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, focusing on high rep counts. After each pod, we will have a short hydration break, so don't worry, okay? In today's workout, you'll need a lead, uh, light to medium pair of uh, dumbbells and a pair of medium weighted dumbbells. I've got mine at 8 and 12.5 kg respectively. Please feel free to go heavier than me, especially for the first pod where we're going to be doing legs dominantly. Ladies, feel free to pick something anywhere from 8 to 15 kg. Gents, feel free to pick anything from 12.5 to 20 kg. The reason why I've picked my weights at a relatively close range is because I'm being mindful of the last lap. We're gonna be moving quick and I don't want to uh, be moving heavy, heavy weights all over the place. So uh, that's the only reason why I chose medium, light, medium weights. But let's take a look at what we're gonna be doing today. Exercise one, dumbbell sumo deadlift. Exercise two, dumbbell 45 degree lunges. Exercise three, good mornings. Exercise four, dumbbell front squat pulse. Exercise five, dumbbell hip thruster. Exercise six, dumbbell bent over close grip row. Exercise seven, dumbbell hammer curl twist. Exercise eight, dumbbell bent over row with a twist. Exercise nine, dumbbell shoulder press alternate arms. Exercise 10, diamond push up. Exercise 11, flutter kicks. Exercise 12, plank feet with a twist. Exercise 13, feet up crunches. Exercise 
Exercise 14, leg raise. Exercise 15, Russian twists. All right, these are all the exercises that we're gonna be doing today. Let's get warmed up and let's get lifting heavy, shall we? And even though you're not at the Spartan race, we're gonna build our strength and our physique to match those of a true Spartan. Let's go. All right, just as usual, we're gonna get warmed up. We got about 20 seconds or so. Make sure you got your water, your towel, you got some space set up for today's workout. We're going to try to get as heavy as possible. It is resistance, but remember, we're playing a lot with timing and tempo, so don't tire yourself out too quickly. All right, starting things off with high knees and butt kicks. Going into prisoner squats, hands behind your head. Deep, deep into your squats. Try not to lean too far forward. Lateral lunges, take a big step out. Come back, step to the other side. Frog squats, tuck your elbows to the inside of your knees. Lying down on our backs, hip thruster, plus a single leg extension. Final rocks, roll it back and forth, tuck your knee into your chest. Going into spinal rolls, turning off to the tummy, into cobra, push your hips up, downward dog, back down into cobra. One more time, downward dog. All right, in the high plank position, we're gonna go into a push-up. Walk your hands back up towards your feet. Finish your inchworm and go again. Inchworm, into high plank, push-up. Walk your hands back. All right, coming up onto our feet. Stagger jump squats, one foot in front of the other. Make sure your weight is distributed evenly between your both your legs. All right, shake it off. We're getting ready in 20 seconds. We're gonna focus on our legs in the first pod, which is five exercises. The very first exercise is going to be a dumbbell sumo deadlift. Go ahead and grab your heavier weights, whichever that might be. I'm at 12.5. We're gonna put the weights together. Feet wider than shoulder width, here we go. Leaning forward, pushing the bum backwards. Keep the chest and the back straight. I'm gonna go into the side view so you guys can see. You need to drop, that's absolutely fine. We're doing a 45 degree lunge. Here we go. So I'm gonna place one foot out 45 away, 45 degrees away from my body, and I'm gonna drop the back knee to face my 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 first my forward knee. Okay, this might be a slightly different movement. Okay, when you step out, don't point your toe outwards and drop because this becomes a forward lunge. 
We want to do a 45 degree lunge. So both toes pointing forward, back knee pointing towards the front knee, and then step back, okay? Lunging out, turn, pivot the back knee to face the front knee. I know, it feels a little weird. It's different from normal. Rest, okay? We're gonna get a chance to come back to this and practice, but essentially, both feet facing me, one foot forward, back knee turns, and going into that lunge. All right, anyways, we're going into a good morning. You can have your hands on your hips, and we're just practicing keeping the chest up nice and high, leaning forward, pushing the bum back, slight bend in the knees, leaning forward as far as we can. You're gonna feel a huge stretch in your hamstrings, and then come on back. Now, if this is too easy for some of you, put this weight in front of you, okay, and do the same thing. Ten seconds, you got this. Three, two, one, rest. Well done. Next up, we are doing a front uh, squat pulse. So we're gonna hold onto the two dumbbells on top of the shoulders where it's front loaded, and we're gonna stay nice and low in our squat pulsing. All right, here we go. Rack them up. Feet shoulder width apart, let's go. Five seconds. Oh, all right. I'm gonna put one of these to the side. We're doing a hip thrust, lying down on our backs. I'm gonna lie down this way. Putting the dumbbell on our hips. Here we go, hip thrust up, big squeeze of the glutes at the top, and down. Now, for those of you who know what you're doing, keep going. For those of you who need a little bit of help, this is how a hip thrust should be, okay? We're pushing our hips to the sky. Notice there's a little bit of a, like a, a valley here. It's dipped down, my hips are dipped down. You wanna push your hips all the way until your body is one straight line and big squeeze of the glutes. If your hips are high, too high, you're overextending, your lower back will have to feel a little bit of a pinch. Rest, okay? Once you feel that pinch, that means you've got too far. Those are the five exercises. We're gonna repeat that cycle. Sumo deadlift coming up. We're moving fast, moderate pace here. 35 seconds of work, here we go. Feet's gotta be wider than shoulder width apart. Let the weights carry you forward, keep your chest up. You gotta push your hips back to keep yourself balanced. You do not want to go onto your toes. Your heels should be grounded. Three, two, one, and rest, all right. I'm gonna hold on to these weights. We're doing that 45 degree lunge, that awkward movement. Just remember, as you step out 45 degrees, this toe, this front toe is pointing forward towards me, okay? Do not turn it. Once you turn it, it just becomes a front, front lunge. Here we go. Drop the back knee towards the front knee. seconds you got this three two one and rest all right next up we're doing good mornings 
I'm gonna do it without any weight. If you felt good with the weight earlier, feel free to continue with the weight. You can have your hands on your hips like this. You can have your hands on your chest, whatever feels good for you. Here we go. I'm gonna go inside you, okay? Really push those hips back. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings and come back up. Okay, straight back, chest up. those front squat pulses it was a little too heavy for me earlier so I'm actually gonna just drop down to one dumbbell and so what you can do here is just hold on to one dumbbell hold it in front it's still got to be in the front and the weight is still got to be in front okay and we're going Feel free to drop to your lighter weights, which I will do. I'm going for the 8kg. We're moving fast on this one. Only 10 seconds of rest in between each set. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, and rest. 45 degree lunges coming up next. Three, two, one, let's work. Good mornings. My hammies are a little tight, so I'm not gonna go too heavy on the weights. If you guys can do it with the weights, go ahead. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good stuff. Ooh. Yeah, we just felt that one. Next up, rack those dumbbells on top of your shoulder. We're going to the front squat pulse. Here we go. Here we go. 
Big squeeze of the glutes at the top. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. One full minute hydration break. Wipe off your sweat, grab some water. We're gonna be right back. All right. You guys are doing great. Hang in there. The next pod, next five exercises are gonna be upper body focused, okay? So we're gonna work on the back, we're gonna work on a little bit of the chest, work on the shoulders a little bit, biceps, forearms, you name it. All right. Woo. The very first exercise that we're gonna be doing is a bent over close grip row. We actually did this exercise yesterday and we're just gonna repeat exactly what we did. Um, keep your elbows nice and close towards your rib cage. Rowing neutral grip, palms face each other. All right, three, two, one, here we go. So, for those of you who know what you're doing, please continue. For those of you who need some cues, all right, there's two ways you can row, okay? One was exactly how I just set up my feet, shoulder width apart, dumbbells closer together, pulling in towards the midsection of the body. Another way is, which I did yesterday, closer feet. That way your arms can dangle on the side and just pull nice and close. Nice and, uh, keep those elbows nice and close, I should say, okay? And rest. So that's two ways of doing this movement. Next up, we are doing a hammer curl with a twist. We're going one side and then the other side. Hammer curl means palms facing in initially. With the twist means that you're gonna twist the palm to face yourself. Here we go. Grab your weights. One at a time. Do not swing like this, okay? Want to control. Slow things down one at a time, squeezing each bicep on its own with no momentum. And rest. Well done. All right, next up, we are doing a uh, bent over row with a twist. So we're gonna start off pronated, end up supinated. So you're gonna have your palms facing you first. Oh, I should probably face this way. Palms facing you first this way. As you row backwards, as your elbows pull back, you're gonna rotate and supinate and turn your palms away, okay? So here we go. And with this move, it becomes really easy to just pull with your biceps. Please try to drive your elbows back. You're gonna feel a little bit of contraction in the lower lats, and that's exactly what we're going for here, okay? Three, two, one, and rest. Woo. All right, next up, we're doing alternated arm shoulder presses. There's two ways you can do it, and I kind of did it in the demo. Essentially, you can either start off at 90 degrees, press one at a time, or start off overhead where there's a little bit more rest, and then go one at a time. Okay, we're on the clock. That's enough talking. Okay, so this is one way that you can do it. The other way, which I prefer, is just down here, hovering at that 90 degree mark. Just feels like there's more tension at the bottom because you gotta hold it. At the top, you get kind of get a rest. So, three, two, one, and rest. All right, next up, we are doing a diamond push up. So, put those weights off to the side for now. Diamond push up, index finger. Thumb touching, creating a triangle. We're gonna bring the middle of the chest right into there. Okay, so here we go. All 
All right. For those of you who know what you're doing, please continue. For those of you who need a little bit of help, as you do your push-up, your elbows need to go backwards 45 degrees, okay? It's impossible for you to do diamond push-ups with your elbows flared out. In addition to that, you don't have to do it on your feet, you can do it on your knees. So just bring your chest towards the triangle that you've made and back up. Towards and back up, okay? All right. Those are the five exercises in this pod to focus on upper body. We're gonna give it another try. Lap number two, moderate pace. Okay, pick a weight that's right for you. We're starting things off with close grip rows. Five seconds. And rest. All right, next up, hammer curls with a twist. Woo, I'm gonna stand up nice and close so you guys can see. Don't let your body swing. Try not to dig underneath. Keep your body still, brace your core. We're starting in three, two, one, here we go. I should stand back just a bit so you can see my hands. Okay, here we go. So you'll notice one head of the dumbbell is coming towards me and then I twist my palm at the very end to face my shoulder. It's just gonna add a little bit of a squeeze to that bicep. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, next up, we're doing that bent over row with a twist, starting with your palms facing you. As you come up, palms face away you, away from you, okay. Whew. workout has got me unable to speak properly. That's my cue to stop talking. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. All right, we're doing alternating shoulder presses. Get ready. Come up, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Wonderful, okay. Going back into those diamond push-ups. We're gonna practice making sure that our body's leaning forward into the diamond that we've created, all right? Here we go, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! 
All right, guys. Five, well, one more round, five exercises left. Same five exercises for the upper body. We're starting things off with close grip rows. Here we go. And rest, hammer curls with a twist. Three, two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, rest, okay. Rowing with the twist, grab your weights. Let's go to work. And rest. Alternate arm shoulder presses. Ooh, I'm give those a quick rest. Drop your weights if you need to like I did. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Last but not least, we've got our diamond push-ups. Get ready, three, Two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Another water break. One full minute here, guys. Grab some water, rehydrate. We'll be right back going into pod number three, which will be our core and abdominal pod. All right. About another 30 seconds here, guys. Shake things off if you need to. First exercise that we're gonna be doing is a flutter kick. Now, and so what you could choose to do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just place my hand right on my tailbone or my bum to just alleviate that pain when we're doing some of these motions, okay? In five seconds, the first thing that we're gonna do are flutter kicks. All right, here we go, lying straight down. Feet off the ground and toes pointing away. Nice big chops. And rest. All right. Next up, we're doing something called a uh, plank feet twist. Another name that we used to call it are hip dips. Um, so we're gonna go into low plank, dip our hips to the side. Here we go.
All right, next up, we are doing feet up crunches. Um, knees just hovering in front of us. We're gonna try to get our elbows to touch our knees, okay? Here we go. And rest. Well done, you guys. I'm gonna stay on the ground. We're doing leg raises next. We did this yesterday as well. Your feet are gonna hover above the ground, bring it back to 90 degrees, and then back down. It's this way. Here we go. You do not need to go this far. Okay, 90 degrees is enough. Three, two, one, and rest. Last but not least, we are gonna do some Russian twists. I'm actually gonna have my feet, my heels on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna just practice turning and working on my obliques. For some of you guys, you can have your feet up if you'd like. Okay, keep your chest up, turning, touch the floor. You can practice your speed here since you're are on the floor. If this is too easy guys, raise your feet like I said earlier, grab one of your dumbbells and turn. Five seconds. Three, two, one and rest, all right. Two more laps. Next one is moderate pace or moderate uh, timing. 35 seconds of work. Get ready, here we go. Flutter kicks first. Oh yeah.
three, two, one, and rest. All right. Well done, everyone. Next up, leg raises. And go ahead and set yourself up. Russian twists in the second lap. We're getting ready. 10 seconds. exercises, core, we're done, okay? Hang in there with me. Woo. Flutter kicks, here we go. We finished Angry Bird. We did a Spartan uh, race today. Well, not together, not me and you, but I did. Um, and we got these cool finisher tees. You probably don't want my tee, but thank you so much for finishing today's workout with me. I really, really appreciate it. And you know what? Honestly speaking, I've done the Spartan race three times, and this time over, 
all the challenges were super easy and uh, and I don't know if it's the training that we've been doing or uh, there's no special training that we've actually been doing for the Spartan race per se. But I would say over the course of the year, all the functional training, how I use my body, how I'm training to manipulate certain muscles for certain movements, it actually really translates or it translates very well on the course. Um, and I didn't find obstacles too difficult. Overall, the team did really well. So hopefully if this is something that you might be interested in, you know, put yourself to the test, do a couple of these challenges that I've, I'm posting up, train your body in a way that you can functionally move, whether it's just for day to day purpose to level up your health and fitness, or if you're just trying to build up some, you know, extra strength to try one of these things. In the States or in Canada, they're also known as uh, Tough Mudder. There's something like that. Go give that a shot. I think that's a little bit tougher. But other than that, guys, this was a great event. I love this. Um, just every year going out, testing the body, testing the mind, making sure that, you know, we're on track. It's great fun. If you get the chance, definitely check it out. Try them out. Spartan is not, or the Spartan race is not only here in Hong Kong, they do like an Asia tour, Europe tour, uh, North America tour. So definitely check them out if you got the chance. But until tomorrow or the next time, we're gonna start on week number five, guys. So until then, peace.